ظلم <تصفيق> لیکچر نمبر فورٹین فار فسٹ ایئر کلاس اینڈ وی آل بلانگ ٹو اسوا کالج اسلام آباد اینڈ دا ٹاپک آف ٹو ڈے ہاؤ دا پیرامیشیم موو ٹو ڈے آئی ول ناٹ ڈسکس ڈیٹ ہاؤ ہیومین بینگس موو آئی ول ناٹ ڈسکس ڈیٹ اینی لارج برین میمولز موو آئی ول ناٹ ڈسکس ہاؤ کا ڈیٹس موو I will not discuss about the crani animals present in the animals who have cranium well developed nervous system. I am just talking about one cell organism how it move. Now you can imagine that how you will move, how animals move, how multicellular animals move, how craniata move, how vertebrata moves, how the class aves move, how class mammalia move, how class amphibia move, how class reptilia move. You can imagine that how these developed animals move because I am just talking about how single cell organism move. That means, which example I will select today? Paramecium. Why paramecium? Very small, very small. You can't see by your naked eye. You need microscope of high resolution powers. Then you will be able to see that paramecium. One celled organism has many legs. You have two legs. One celled organism have many legs. Sir, legs. I am talking about the cilia. Your legs are locomotive structure in my body, in your body, and if the cilium is a locomotive structure in the paramecium, so what are the name of the cilium in the paramecium legs? Multi, multi numbers legs, and each leg is a world. Each leg is a world, and each leg has two brothers. Each cilium has two type of brothers. One brother is antagonistic to other brother. One brother is going in right direction, other brother is going in left direction. What the point I just wanted to convey? That in one cilium, two type of microfibrillation. Last lecture I was talking about 9 plus 2, that was overall function. I will talk about 9 microfibrils I was talking about, they were peripheral. And two central fibers were present. And 9 microfibrils were present at the, at the peripheral side. Today I will tell you, today I will tell you, I will, I will tell you that those nine microfibrils are divided still further into two groups and they are working against each other and that will be the story of today's lecture we move to some slides but i think this is a perinuclear space i will not discuss this earlier i will go to the topic and topic is the movement of the pyramid and cilia how one cilia move first of all you have to keep in mind that I am not talking about all cilia together as I mentioned in the last lecture this is one cilium because if you will you will understand these all are cilium no this is this is one cilium one cilium so if this is one cilium, so these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are the nine fibers. These are the nine fibers. So yes, of course, the nine, uh, of course, I told you in the last lecture that one cilium consists of nine microfibrils. Now your mind is opening now, sir. One cilium, one hair, 11 fibers, two in the center, and nine, these nine, will work together they will not work together this is my point today they will not work together they will work against each other that's why the in the book the diagram is divided into two into two figure one figure is this one and other figure is this one because they are not working together one cilium one cilium two brothers two brothers working against each other one is going in right direction other is going in the left direction because they both are antagonistic to each other they both are working against each other. Now the point is, the reasonable point is how they work against each other. 
two terminal two terms i will use one is effective stroke one is a one is a one is a one is effective stroke one is a recovery stroke so two terms i will speak now one term is coming here so i divide it i divide it the microfibrils which were nine which were peripheral site they divide it into two main groups they divide it into two main groups some are some will contract effective stroke will cause some will contract recovery stroke will be caused i am introducing two terms i will speak once again effective stroke recovery stroke effective stroke in the sense my finger one cerium it will contract effective stroke effective stroke in the sense work will be done how the work will be done the water will be propelled water will be propelled the finger contract effective stroke finger relax recovery stroke effective stroke mean that water propulsion of the water take place the water is being pushed in one direction when water will be pushed in one direction what will happen the animal will move in another direction so this is effective stroke because work is going on that's why it is effective stroke what is the recovery stroke when cilium relax this is recovery stroke why recovery stroke is necessary because you will be ready for effective stroke once again otherwise cilium will contract so how how it will contract once again because you need uh, if you are uh, in a boat uh, the uh, you have to push the water regularly at the back side otherwise uh, the length of the boat otherwise uh, otherwise the boat will not go forward so it means that the, the cilia will contract cilia will relax cilia will relax by recovery stroke so these two terms uh, effective stroke recovery stroke no question is sir when cilia will contract i think this is the you reached the right point you reached the right point of my today's concession, uh, discussion uh, and uh, lecture uh, today's lecture first five microfibrils total total how many told in last lecture i am telling you again nine where they are present at the side which protein was present due to which they were moving dynein arms first five will contract the first five will contract what will happen they will contract first four will contract they will relax amazing amazing mean that nine microfibrils which are present in one cilium they are working against each other and first five will contract last four will relax automatically because they are behaving like muscles one type of muscle bicep muscles contract tricep muscle relax they are working antagonistically as normally the uh, uh, everything everything do so what will happen the first five will contract last four will relax the last four will contract the first five will relax no first five will contract last four will relax contraction effective stroke last four will contract first five will relax recovery stroke the cilium is moving up that is a recovery stroke so this slide is making the story clear this slide is making the story clear effective stroke recovery stroke. effective stroke here mentioned effective stroke yes this is the effective stroke now it is clear now this is the effective stroke we go back to the topic once again and i would like to show you the figure because by figure you will be able to understand properly i have to clear the figure i am magnifying this figure and i am just showing the first five first five first five yes i am magnifying that is visible to you the first five first five all five microfibrils are in the screen yes now go back one number one number one number two number three number four number five yeah this is not good i think so we should make from here this yes this is number five so what is happening they are contracting mean look at my finger contracting when they are contracting where the animal is moving where the animal is moving animal moving animal moving animal moving in this direction there is a wrong uh, signal in the figure and uh, because you know look here both things cannot be in one direction they cannot be in one direction the water will move left side 
एंड लोकोमोशन विल बी एट राइट साइड ओके जी वाटर विल मूव एट बैक साइड द एनिमल विल मूव एट द राइट साइड तो आई हैव टू शो यू द फिगर वंस अगेन द प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ द वाटर इज नॉट दिस डायरेक्शन इट इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन वाटर विल दिस इज नॉट राइट सो वाटर विल गो एट द बैक साइड एंड एनिमल विल मूव इन दिस डायरेक्शन एनिमल विल मूव इन दिस डायरेक्शन विच स्ट्रोक आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट which stroke i am talking about i am talking about effective stroke this is effective stroke so i told you effective stroke now we'll go back to another stroke which i was talking about uh, i was talking just a moment before that is the recovery now this is the recovery stroke this is the recovery stroke now recovery stroke you are getting me students this is the recovery stroke what is the recovery stroke when the when the cilium will move back mean that these fibers will contract when these fibers will contract when these fibers will contract when these fibers will contract it mean that okay yes i have to tell you one thing i i have to tell you one thing that first five will contract last four will relax okay ji now a one thing i would like to mention if we understand by this way i am not showing last four I am not showing last four. Okay, you understand this is first five and they are in contracting power stroke. Now they are relaxing. Now they are relaxing. First five they are relaxing. First five they are relaxing. Okay, where they was contracting? Here they were. Here they here they were contracting. They were contracting and this is a contraction status. They here they were contracting. Here here they are relaxing. I am talking about which one? First five. First five. So first five will contract effective stroke. The first five is relaxing. This is recovery stroke. This is the recovery stroke. Now question mark. Question mark. Sir, where are last four? By last four, we are not mentioning here because last four automatically you understand. First five contract microfibrils. Last four will relax. The last last uh, first five will relax. Last four will contract. so you will give importance to first five then you will not confuse because last four will be exactly opposite to the first five i can explain once again first five contract last four relax that is effective stroke clear first five relax last four contract recovery stroke now sir tell me in reference to last four okay i am telling you just hold on i have to finish this one i have to indicate once again these are the first five and they are relaxing they are relaxing what is the meaning of this they are relaxing what is the meaning of this they are relaxing last four are contracting because first five are relaxing last four are contracting last four are contracting i am talking about which thing i am talking about the nine microfibril which were at the peripheral side and they were divided into two groups first five and last four and they were working against each other the last five relax they work against each other it means last four will contract when last four contract recovery stroke where the cilium will go this is the question mark i'm not talking about microfibril where the cilium will go cilium will relax sir where these nine microfibrils which are working against each other first five and last four where they are situated they are present in this fingers if the finger is cilium it will contract i will understand first five contracting last four relaxing if cilium is moving up it mean first five first four first four will contract first Four will contract. Last five, first uh, last four will contract. First five will relax. It means they are relaxing. So I have to show once again. Okay, you want me to repeat this information? So I will repeat once again by showing uh, the movement of the finger. If the finger is the cilium, the first five contract. Last four relax. Effective. Clear. The last. first five relax last four contract recovery last four contract recovery first five contract effective first five relax last four contract recovery clear now go back to another one the first five first five will contract 
last four will relax that is power stroke that is effective stroke now I have to show you one more thing which is important because flagella I did not tell you the direction of locomotion of the flagella flagella you know they are large in size and flagella also arise from the basal body in the cytoplasm the cdm also arise from the basal body and what is happening in the direction of the locomotion that water is propelling in this case propulsion of the water is in which direction the water is being pushed back and the animal is moving animal is moving in the forward direction animal is moving in the forward direction mean in this direction in this direction and flagellum also work like that because flagellum also consists of sir you are not paying attention towards the flagella you are talking cilia cilia cilium flagellum they both consist of same structures that's was that's why i am not naming the flagella word so much because flagella is not present in our body because our body consists of cilia cell consists of cilia but flagella structure is exactly the same as the cilia because both have the same structure nine microfibrils if i am talking about the cilia similar microfibrils nine microfibrils are present in the flagellum flagellum if i say the nine microfibrils out of nine microfibrils these nine microfibrils are doublet it means flagellum also consists of nine microfibrils are doublet if i'm talking about the nine microfibril doublets are divided into two groups the first five microfibrils the last four microfibrils similar groups are present in the flagellum they are also divided into two groups if I am talking about the central two microfibril provide strength along with the protein nexin, similar to central fibril and nexin protein present in the flagellum. If I am talking about that the microfibril which are peripheral, they consist of dynein arm, which is a protein which moves the cilia. Yes, of course, it is also present in the flagellum. You got the right idea, idea how the cilia move, how the flagella move. Thank you very much. This was lecture number 14.